Terry here. Today I'm going to show you another way to cut sugar and processed foods out of your diet that is so easy and so versatile. So I'm going to make a lemon dressing and um, very few ingredients here. This is one of my family's favorites. I got probably going to use two lemons here. Squeeze it into my mason jar and I've got this little mesh guy to catch any stray seeds. So this half lemon is about two tablespoons of juice, if you've ever wondered. Squeezing, squeezing. All right, I'm gonna do one more half lemon. So this is one and a half lemons here. Next, a little tiny bit of honey, just to add a little bit of sweet that cuts the acid. I'm just gonna, I'm not measuring anything here, but I will tell you that the rule of thumb for making your own salad dressing is three parts acid to one part oil. And you always want a little sweetener to kind of cut the acidity. So I've got the lemon, I've got the honey, I've got some seasonings here. This is just salt, pepper, and dried basil with a little dried Italian seasoning. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that in. Shake it up. Okay, and last is the oil. Extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to do, I'm just gonna eyeball this, but I've got about a three to one ratio as I mentioned. So let's dump it in here. It is not a perfect science, folks. Something to experiment with. Okay. Shake her up. And a good way to tell when this is done is when you stick a spoon in and the red dressing has a really thin coating on the back of the spoon. So here's my salad dressing. Keep it in the fridge all week long. But like I said, this also doubles as a marinade. It's wonderful if you've got some chicken breasts you want to grill, clean them up, place them in this dressing, leave them for, I don't know, anywhere from four to eight hours and grill it. It's absolutely delicious, refreshing. I also love, love this dressing drizzled over roasted vegetables. So I'm going to take this same dressing and I'm going to make it into a sandwich spread. I, I like to think of it as kind of a healthy mayo. So I've got half of an avocado. I'm just going to kind of dice this up right in the shell. Being very careful not to cut all the way through. Okay, and I'm going to put this in my food processor. Okay, so I've got a whole avocado here. Now I'm gonna dump in my dressing. Little to start. And then I'm gonna run this, see how it thickens, and then I'll probably add a little bit more as it's going. consistency here. If you guys can see that. A little thicker than mayo, but if you want it thinner, just add a little lemon juice, maybe a little water, maybe a little more oil. Mmm. I love it. Creamy, smooth. So give it a shot. Add a little avocado to your lemon dressing. And I want to talk about a few other ideas. So a couple other easy sauce secrets. Make a very simple balsamic vinaigrette, and all you need is balsamic vinegar, little maple syrup for the sweetener, and olive oil. Again, that three to one ratio. Shake it up. Good not only on salads, but delicious if you drizzle the balsamic dressing over vegetables before you roast them. Also an excellent marinade, not only chicken, but also heavier fish, like maybe halibut. Excellent on beef, on pork, and even good with fruit. So my third sauce secret is to use a pureed vegetable soup. That's right, take your roasted vegetables that are left over, cook them down, puree them into a soup, enjoy that. As it sits in your refrigerator for a couple days, it's gonna thicken up a little bit. So take that and use it as a sauce over your finished 
grilled meat, grilled chicken, roasted vegetables, however you like to do it, maybe even on the side of your eggs, okay? So three easy sauces, dressings, marinades, whatever you wanna call them, no processed foods, very minimal sugar, give it a shot. And we'll see you next time.